good morning students today we are going to discuss about module number 1 that is introduction to power system protection and here we are going to discuss about that the topics like current setting and time setting so to discuss about that the topic like current setting we have different types of relays are there like definite time relay then inverse definite time relay then instantaneous time relay and idmt relay so among these type of the relays especially some relays are working based upon the pick up value of preset value of the current and some relays are working based upon the time settings and current setting so if you take that any relay the relay which is working on the time especially over current relays over current relays are working based upon the predetermined value so the predetermined value we can select and the value of the predetermined value or preset value that should be different from one relay to another relay because the relays which are operating at a single phase system three phase system and 11 kv 33 kv 66 kv 132 kv 220 kv 400 kv 750 kv that is the operating voltage that should be different from one system by another system so according to that system we have to set that the current settings in that relay as to make a appreciable operation and to make it a successful protective device instead of that making it is a like a, a good protective device as to restrict that fault currents before it meets that particular load or the power system and its associated equipments definitely the current settings has to be changed when we are going to use that same relay at different systems like single phase system to three phase system and in three phase system and again it is whose operating voltage like 11 kv 33 kv 66 kv so based upon that operating voltage we have to make the changes in the current settings of that particular relay when we are shifting from one operating system voltage to another operating system voltage therefore in disk type units there are a number of tapping provided on coil to select the desired pickup value of the current if you see that the below figure here we are going to shows that one electro mechanical induction relay here the primary coil which is called as relay coil which is wounded at the center of the core of the this transformer and from the same center of the core of the transformer center limb onwards we are wounded that one more winding which is called as secondary winding when the primary winding is actuated with the fault current like i what is showing in this figure if you see this figure there is a current i which is flowing in the primary winding hence the primary coil which is called as relay coil and the primary voltage let us say v1 which is directly proportional to actuating quantity like i1 which is called as the fault current which is that higher current which is flowing through the relay coil or the primary coil of this induction type induction disk type electromagnetic type relay when current is flowing when the actuating quantity i1 which is nothing but the fault current which is flowing through the relay coil or the primary coil which is caused to produce the flux pi1 in the primary coil or the relay coil which is going to which is going to link to the secondary coil which is wounded on the same limb that is center limb of this core of the transformer then the second the secondary voltage v2 is induced here in the secondary coil and this secondary voltage v2 address to flow that one more current in the secondary winding called as i2 which is called to produce one more flux called 
pi 2 the interaction of the these two fluxes pi 1 and pi 2 pi 1 on the upper side of the disc and pi 2 at the lower side of the disc which makes that two forces which makes that a repulsion force which is exerted by the aluminum disc which is holded with the help of bearing bolt and nut at center of the relay the disc will rotates when this disc will rotates it is going to trip the circuit breaker as to isolate that faulty section of the system and healthy section of the system and the same aluminium disc having the two types of the torques one is called as operating torque to open the circuit breaker and one more torque which is called as the reverse torque which is used to close the circuit breaker as to make the system and to break the system need to protect that various equipments like power system and its associated equipments and also from the load equipment from the heavy currents so the current what it is flowing in this relay coil whose the number of turns has been changes when it is going to use at the different rating of the supply voltage like 11 kV, 33 kV, 66 kV so this is called as the current setting how we are going to set to make that function of this relay according to the operating voltage or desired voltage where it is going to function so like this we can we can meet that desired actuating current as to operate according to that our predetermined value or our pickup value of the current the next setting which is called as time setting as some relays are there which are called as instantaneous relays definite time relays these relays are functioning based upon the time settings value which is given in that relay which are called uh, I mean which are called as advanced technology relays like numerical relays which are working on the technology like uh, microprocessor and uh, microcontroller technology so in case of uh, time settings so a proper time settings what we are using as to function the protective device the distance which the disc travels before it closes the relay contact can be adjusted by adjusting the position of backstop if the backstop is advanced in the normal direction of rotation the distance of the travel is reduced resulting in a shorter operating time of the relay so when we are going to adjust that the position of backstop and its adjustment we can adjust that time settings of that the relay according to that our preset value the relay will function and it is going to protect from the heavy currents hence the time settings plays a vital role especially as to make it function for different operating voltages when we shift this system from one operating system voltage to another operating system voltage therefore the time setting and current settings are plays a vital role especially as to make our convenient operation our reliable operation when it is going to operate any relay in various operating in, in various transmission systems with respect to their line voltages and line currents hence time settings and current settings gives that reliable operation and to make that effective protective system thank you